So my name is uh, Eitan Goldstein. Uh, my farm, its name is uh, the Garden of Eitan. The farm is near Jerusalem, Israel. It's about a quarter an acre of organic uh, vegetables. I started playing with um, vegetables and plants and garden about uh, five or six years ago. It was just magical for me. I just knew from the first plant that I planted in soil that I want to grow food and I want to live off food, really nutritious and organic food, and I started my farm. The farm where it is today, it's in the place where I grew up, Kibbutz Netiv Alamedei, Israel. Like about 15 years ago, it was still a cow shed. It was a dairy farming place. We felt that maybe I can start from here. The most difficult uh, job in order to get this farm going was to bring the soil, because this farm just didn't have any soil. We had to build it with a lot of compost. You can see from year to year, the vegetables that I plant are growing better. It's a long process and I'm still in the middle of it. So Israel is a it's pretty warm place. We have a lot of uh, desert winds. It's like seven months or eight months that we need to use shade cloths. We use uh, overhead irrigation in order to cool the vegetables. We also have a lot of pests because they don't die in the winter time. It's a pretty challenging climate here. In Israel, it's very common to have these kinds of trays, which are 442 cells. They grow very quickly. They are ready to, to be planted around 10 or 12 days from seeding. It took me some time to figure out what are the best crops for me to grow here. I knew that I, that I needed to get the, the, the produce very quick. I, I figured out that I should do greens. Mostly I do, I, I do baby lettuce because people really love it. When I got the greens harvester, it was a game changer. It helped me to do some of the harvest a lot more quicker. It made my life easier, yeah. And also, when I found out that I can do it for microgreens, it was amazing. For microgreens, it's like 100% perfect. I really don't think that I could have done it without my parents. They are both were very, very important for me in that process. I didn't have any experience at, uh, at farming and I just thought that I could come and plant stuff and just uh, harvest it and it will be easy. But when you get to the specifics, you just uh, see that you have to be efficient. The time is really the, the, the most important thing that you have as a farmer. I love being in the nature, but still it's like Human and nature come together in a great way, and the people, the, the customers that are uh, enjoying my, my work and my produce are, uh, are uh, really important to me. The idea of being a farmer, it's amazing, but uh, it's very challenging, and just uh, keep going. <laughs>